Hey, what is up guys? Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today, I want to share with you guys some things that could get you banned in Call of Duty Mobile. As you probably know, the hackers was a hot topic last week. There's been a lot of stuff. I did post a video about the leaderboards. Then earlier this week, Ferg posted on his channel that he was going to quit ranked multiplayer because he was so tired of hackers. But yes, Call of Duty responded and they will do something about the hackers. Now today, earlier today, they announced their new anti-cheat system and they posted a list of things that could get you banned in Call of Duty Mobile. So make sure you avoid these things because even if you're not a hacker and even if you're not a cheater, you might be using some apps uh, that could get you banned and you want to be aware of everything. So let's start guys with the new anti-cheat system and the list of things that you should avoid doing if you don't want to lose your account. So first thing on the list is the usage of any third party apps such as even custom crosshair apps or even some apps that enable you to use keyboard and mouse on your phone because yes not only emulators let you use keyboard and mouse on your phone there are some apps and devices that let you plug in a keyboard and mouse and use it directly on your phone now about third party apps anything that will modify your app it will be detected and could get you banned now custom crosshair i mean it's not really cheating but still it's a third party app and they don't make the difference they detect anything that modified the code and they will automatically ban you now of course keyboard and mouse it could be an advantage definitely for aiming it's always been a controversy with the emulators and even if you're not using an emulator you're playing on your phone well, still, if you use a mouse for aiming, it's kind of unfair. Now, point number two is the usage of unsafe emulators. Well, I understand here is any emulator that is not the official COD Mobile emulator will be detected and banned. So there was a lot of posts on Reddit yesterday. A lot of players say, hey, I just got in the game and I got a one day ban. I don't understand. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't cheat. I didn't hack. But then later in the comments, some people say, well, did you use blue stacks or Nox? And the guy says, yeah, I was playing on blue stacks. Well, dudes, you can't because what they want to do and they posted many weeks ago, they want to separate the emulator players from the touch players. So if you play touch, you will be in a different lobby with other touch players. If you play emulators, you'll play with other emulator players. Now, if you're in a squad and one of your friends is using emulator, your whole squad will be put in an emulator lobby. So. You can use emulator if it's the official one, but if you use blue stacks or knocks or whatever, well guys, prepare to get banned. Now the third one guys, not that big a surprise, but usage of VPN could get you banned. They don't want people to use VPN. And anytime there was an update on the preseason one and two on the soft launch, anytime there was a new update, more VPNs were getting banned all the time. They're working hard to try to detect these new VPNs and ban them. And anytime there was an update, people from other countries uh, outside the soft launch countries, they were trying to find new VPNs to play the game early. Well, guys, now that the game is global, you should not need a VPN to play. Even though it's not cheating, they don't want you to use VPNs, so don't use it, guys. Now, the last one is the obvious one. Usage of hacks, game scripts or any tools that modify game files will get you banned as soon as they see anything they ban you and even if you just modify a text in the game files even if you modify a symbol if it's modified you get banned that also means don't download the game outside the google play or app store guys because if it's a modified file well you're in trouble now hacks of course it's obvious but other tools that modify the games some guys use apps to have better graphics some performance and enhancing apps this is not allowed guys play the game as it is don't modify don't enhance don't change anything and you should be fine that's pretty simple right and it's for the good of the whole community guys so hopefully everything's clear and once again leave a comment below how you feel about that new anti-cheat system. I think it's pretty fair and I think it's pretty clear and hopefully the hackers will all get banned soon because I had a lot of comments lately on my videos. People were finding new hackers on the leaderboard but also 
uh people were seeing hackers in ranked gameplay even on the lower ranks that's crazy guys some guys playing on not even master one on pro levels and they had hackers in their game so why would you even cheat it just ruins the game for everyone it ruins the fun the whole point of ranked is trying to compete against the best and if the best are hacker well that ruins everything right so anyways that's gonna be it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed and leave a like if you did don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more call of duty mobile videos i will be back soon till then watch my other videos take care Bravo. We captured C. We captured A. Cover me, reloading! UAV online. They're hurting. Keep fighting. We captured Charlie. Losing Alpha. Pingo down! 